Hi, I'm Jason Mears and this is vRealize Operations as part of the vSphere 7 Home Lab series. So to begin with, I'm just in vCenter Server and I'm on the Home view, which you can see on the left hand side with the little house on it. Uh, you may be more familiar with the Wholesome Clusters view, which is what uh, most people have gone to in previous versions. You can see there I'm just looking at vCenter plus a data center. Underneath the data center, a single cluster. And under the cluster are four vSphere 7 hosts. There is a blue warning there about a distributed switch, which I've failed to remove properly. That was from a, a beta version of NSX3 uh, that I uh, didn't remove properly before I recorded this video. Just ignore that for now. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on the menu. I'm going to click on vRealize Operations, which is a new section from that menu up in the top left hand corner of the uh, screen. And it gives us an option of installing vRealize Operations or configuring an existing instance. And I'm going to go for install. There's an online install where it will download the files required from the internet, or an offline install where you download the files and point it at the installation OVF or OVA. So I'm going to go for the online version, and I'm going to give it the IP address of my vCenter server. And it looks like it's remembered my password, so I'm just going to type that again, make sure it's the right one. And once I've got those details, I'm going to test the connection, and the green tick says that yes, that's worked properly. So now I want to know what name I want to give to the VM. And we'll just call that VROPS-30 because I'm going to give it the IP address 192.168.0.30. So I tend to use, oh, sorry, 31. Uh, I tend to use that naming convention so I know what IP address it is. I pick a data center, a cluster. I'm going to put it on host number four. I'm going to do a small deployment and I'll pick one of the local data stores for this one and I'll pick standard switch 0 VLAN 0 so now I need those network details so as I said before 192.168.0.31 is the one I've set up for this I've also got forward and reverse DNS set up in my home lab I use a Synology NAS with the DNS package just seems easiest way of doing this and that's on a slash 24 so IP address DNS server gateway and network mask and it asked me if I want to point it at a different vCenter but I'm actually going to point it at the one that I'm installing this on it may be that if you have a management cluster you want to point this at another vCenter server somewhere else in your organization I'll just check those details there they look fine so I'll install it there so now it's going to go away, download the installation media from the internet. Um, it'll pull that down and push down the OVF. Now this is going to take a little bit of time. So we'll just fade it in and out so you're not sat here waiting. So the OVF has been pulled down. Um, it's been deployed and it's just going through the configuration. You can see at the bottom it says that the current state is that the initialization has been successful. Just finishing configuring um, the um, VROPS adapter. And that's it installed. Now it is worth mentioning that it takes a little bit of time to gather all of the information and all of the data. So don't draw any conclusions from the da dashboard when you first see it up. Um, I would give it at least 24 hours before taking any notes of anything in this dashboard just yet. Um, for any kind of um, detailed analysis I'd, I'd leave it a couple of weeks um, just to catch things like month end but um, yeah so, so it's up and working and it's collecting we just need to leave that running for a while now to actually get some data inside it but the product has been installed the next thing is doing the actual initial configuration which we'll do in another video so that was vRealize Operations installation as part of the vSphere 7 Home Lab series. Thank you very much for your time and I hope you found that useful.